Uh, hadn't been on a while, but uh, wanted to show y'all a project that I'm working on. It's a uh, it's a base for a raccoon and bobcat mount. Um, what I'm doing here, uh, the base below is uh, I made out of uh, cedar, and what's really cool about it is that it was done on uh, or the the wood was milled on my, the client's farm so I thought that was pretty cool um, building a base out of that it kind of incorporates it uh, more of a personal touch to it but uh, what's gonna happen is the bobcat is actually or the raccoon is gonna sit right up here uh, looking down at a bobcat that's sitting here and he, both of them just gonna be looking at each other kinda curious about what's going on um, but uh, what I've done so far is I built the base and then I put a piece of plywood in, in between it and uh, what I've done is took pieces of like styrofoam um, and I just screwed them down to the base, just random pattern, kind of where, and you stack more on top of one another um, if you want it to go any higher. Uh, so that's what I've done. I also have uh, drilled a piece of, uh, it's a square stock with a, with a flat bottom. Um, uh, sorry, it's a square stock with uh, um, a hollow square stock, and the hollow square stock is actually inside of this piece of wood here, and the uh, that's it's so so it can uh, go uh, set down on top of a plate with the solid stock that's screwed down to the bottom. But uh, also, what I, after I did the styrofoam, I took. Uh, burlap, um, just regular old burlap, uh, I bought this at a fabric store, and uh, I laid it down along the bottom of it, so I can uh, take it, and after I did that, around the edges, I just like folded it over, and I stapled it down, just random pattern, kind of gives it little dips and dives, um, then I laid a mixture of uh, plaster of Paris, uh, a fine paper mache, a regular paper uh, like cellulose uh, paper mache, and also some peat moss, uh, water, and also some Elmer's glue. And uh, I just spread that along the the, uh, the, the base of it. Kind of kind of gives it the look of land and and dirt and everything like that. Um, after I did that. I put a piece of plastic down where I know where the, the stock is going to be and uh, that way this piece, this uh, paper mache right here will not stick to the, uh, the one that's on the bottom but it'll, it'll sit down nicely when it, when it actually all cures and everything. Um, after all this dries and cures, I'm, I'm going to put a layer of peat moss down and then leaves and sticks and things like that just to give it more of a natural look. Um, I'm also going to add some moss and some grasses and things like that just to kind of fill in uh, certain voids of the piece. But uh, I'll, I'll take my camera and I'll show y'all a little bit closer view. Um, there you go. It's, it's just like certain areas, uh, like right here, I have a piece of foam, and then it's got the burlap on top of it, and then the uh, paper mache mix. But it, it kind of gives it a little uh, look of it being raised um, up off of the... actual base. And then a uh, better look of the uh, this here. I uh, like I said I I spread underneath of this is the paper mache as well, but uh, I put the plastic down and then put paper mache on top of it. So it kind of fills down inside the voids, but uh, it will also um, once it, once it cures and sets and dries and everything it. I can this this piece is completely removable, but um, yeah. So 
thank again, thanks for watching. And if you're if you're interested in seeing any more tutorials or just projects that I'm working on, feel free to subscribe. Uh, right here, I think somewhere in there, or uh, above on my channel. And I will talk to y'all later. See y'all later. Bye.